Hi there, welcome to this video. This is Sherry Ruffel and I'm from nutritionwisdom.ca and I want to share with you some of the things that I'm making right now in preparation for my upcoming spring cleanse. If you want to learn more about the spring cleanse, you want to um, enter your name and email in the opt-in box above this video where I'm going to teach you how some of this amazing stuff is going to help you to harmonize your hormones. So let me show you what I've got going on. So first thing, this is called daikon. It's amazing for your liver. It's a radish and you know, you can have it raw and it has your typical radish flavor, but as a cultured vegetable, it is so delicious. It has a really, really unique flavor and it's great for um, helping your liver get out of stagnancy and your liver is the regulator of your hormones. So um, this is gonna be a double uh, whammy, uh, nice liver healer because not only is it radish, but which has that bitter flavor that's helpful for the liver, but it, once you culture it, it has also the sour flavor that is really ideal for um, supporting the liver. So that's the first thing. So this is just literally grated um, radish with some whey that's that watery stuff on the top of yogurt and salt. And then you just stick it in the jars and let it sit for three days on the counter. And then I'm going to have beautiful, delicious uh, fermented daikon to have on the side of all of my meals while I'm on the cleanse. Um, I am also soaking some nuts. So I have uh, pecans and walnuts soaking in water here. So basically I cover them um, with water and put salt in it to keep any bacteria from growing overnight. And then I'll put that in the dehyde, all those nuts back in the dehydrator so that they're um, nice and crispy again. So what that does is it actually deactivates phytic acid and allows me to assimilate more minerals, more nutrition from those um, nuts. Makes them uh, better for your digestion as well. And in the dehydrator, um, you can't see it, but I have a dehydrator over here. It's actually a really great one that I recommend. Um, it, let me go tell you the name one sec. It's called the Aroma Professional. Actually, I'm gonna bring you with me because it is so good. It's like a super affordable, um, see it? It's like 120 something dollars, or maybe it was 160, I'm not sure. But anyway, it's got like a clear door, and um, right now I have uh, zucchini in there. I'm making zucchini chips. And um, I'll just show you what they're gonna look like when they're done. I have some from my last batch. There we go. Okay, super yummy. Um, the ones that I put in the dehydrator, I use this basil olive oil. So it's gonna have a nice flavor. And um, zucchini is really excellent. Um, it actually has a lot of natural salt in it. Um, so it's going to be helpful for um, myself and the women on the cleanse who are struggling with a little bit of adrenal um, exhaustion. And when you do a cleanse, it's really important that you don't um, deplete yourself, especially if you have adrenal or thyroid issues. And the cleanse that I put my women on is not depleting. So you can get the benefits of cleansing to balance your hormones or harmonize your hormones, but you're not going to be depleting yourself and getting um, worse, like having worse symptoms in the process. Because that's what can happen to women who have um, hormonal issues and then they go on a cleanse, like a juice fast or juice feasting or anything like that, it can actually cause them to become unwell from the cleanse. Okay, because your body, the, the process of cleansing actually requires nutrition, right? Because your liver utilizes nutrition in order to do its natural detoxification. So it's really, really important um, not to cleanse in the wrong way based on where you're at. If you have hormone issues, you should not be um, doing. Uh, fasting, even if it's juice. Okay. Um, so I just wanted to show you right here in this bag, uh, that's basically the whey. So I put yogurt in that bag and it's dripping out. And then once the whey, that watery stuff drips out of the yogurt, then I put it through a coffee filter to get the milk solids out. And that's what I use to culture the daikon. Then what I'm going to do with the yogurt is I'm going to drip it long enough so that I can um, form it into balls. Okay. Now this is not allowed on the actual cleanse. So I'm going to have it this weekend before I start the cleanse on Monday. 
Um, basically, you take herbs and fresh garlic and salt and mix it in with the yogurt and form little balls, and then you drop it in a jar and then pour olive oil on top. And then you can spread it on crackers or whatever. Super delicious. All right, so there you go. I just wanted to share with you what I was making to get prepared to love up my liver in the cleanse that I'm starting on Monday with my group of women joining the Hormone Harmony program. All right, bye for now.